2011. And Stan has brought me beautiful prints of, a, of an absolutely spectacular painting. And I want to describe to you, uh, while I'm signing them here, uh, what, um, what airplanes are on it. Uh, chronologically, the Aronka 7AC Champ here is the airplane that I soloed in in 1959. And um, in 58, 59, I took lessons. Um, I um, got the airplane uh, uh, rented for a very low rate of $4.50 an hour. And I soloed with five hours and 45 minutes of time. Uh, I then went off to college and didn't fly during that time, but as soon as I got back at Edwards, I started work on the Very Vegan, which was my first home-built airplane. And I did work on that while I was flight testing the stability and control and the spin characteristics of the F4E Phantom. So this represents the most significant of the Air Force airplanes I tested at, at Edwards when I was there from uh, 65 until 72, just right after college. Uh, then we moved on to uh, 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 another little job for a couple of years and then came back to California and I landed in Mojave here in 1974 and I had my very vegan and I started building the very easy. This is uh, November 4 Echo Zulu which is the most significant of the very easies. It's the one that all the plans were sold for and, and it, was, um, it was built um, by hundreds of, of people and sold thousands of plans and it gave us the, the money that we could to do everything else that we ended up doing at, at Mojave. In 1970, excuse me, 1986 uh, we, uh, Dick and Gina flew the voyage around the world. This is our milestone airplane. Um, it uh, was started uh, fabrication in uh, 1983, I believe. Yes, it went to Oshkosh in 84 and around the world in 1986. The boomerang was built uh, over a couple year time period in the mid 90s, it flew in 1996, and it was to be my personal airplane, which which replaced the other home built airplanes which I was flying at the time. So this was my traveling machine, and just this week, it was taken out of storage and restored, and the boomerang is now flying again, which is uh, really a thrill for me. In the late 90s, I believe it was 97 or 98, uh, we flew one of the most significant airplanes that, that Scale Composites uh, built called the Proteus. And this was a company funded airplane. We didn't have a customer for it, but we did it in a, on, on spec, so to speak. And that airplane now has more than 4,000 hours uh, of, and all the flying is on projects flying different payloads for, for the U.S. government, for NASA, and, and so on, and, and also most of it's flying uh, for the uh, defense industry. Uh, and of course, my favorite airplane uh, has to be uh, Spaceship One. Uh, this was an enormous leap over the performance of all the rest of these. And uh, the program was extremely successful. Uh, uh, we, we had no major problems, even though we were uh, uh, going from kind of the fastest airplane we'd flown before, which was high subsonic, to an airplane that we had to go Mach 3.5 straight up. And uh, I'll, I'll always remember uh, all the details of our program that, that um, uh, illustrated something where we reached way out. And, uh, and succeeded and, and reached the goal that Paul Allen, our funding source, uh, was after. And that is to answer the question, can a small non-government supported, non-government run a company actually fly a manned space flight?